Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel and this is a review of the Been There mugs. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining in today uh, here at my Star Wars channel. If you don't know uh, what this is, this is my Star Wars channel where I review uh, my Star Wars collection and things that I am interested in or involved in, anything Star Wars that relates to me uh, and my life. I use this channel as an opportunity to share it with you. So we've talked about Celebration, we've talked about Disneyland, uh, we've talked about merchandise, new and vintage, and today want to look at a couple of coffee mugs that I'm super, super proud of. Um, just to give you a little bit of backstory, uh, Starbucks releases these mugs. They are called the uh, You Are Here mugs, I believe. I think that's the series, right? And uh, they're usually available in every state, and you buy the mug that's from your state, and they're everywhere. And there's a bunch of people that collect these. My wife collects these. I think we have like 16 in our cabinet. And so I've always used the You Are Here mugs that have come from Disneyland. I originally used the Disneyland mugs, or the Disney World mugs, actually. I used the Disney World mugs. And uh, saw these come out on a Star Wars uh, fan page, a Facebook page. So here's a little piece of advice. If you aren't already affiliated or grouped up or membered up with some sort of Star Wars fan Facebook page, I would highly recommend it. Because even if you're not that active and you don't feel like, I'm not gonna submit that much, it's nice to see some of those things go through your feed sometimes because there's a lot of members that will tell you about exclusive items and sometimes by the time you find out about something, it's sold out and it's gone, right? Case in point, the Been There mugs. I was a member of a few channels. People started posting. These are out now on the Star Wars uh, Disney page. Go buy them. I quickly ran out, got all three. Uh, these are called the Been There series because Star Wars is a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, right? So they're the Been There mugs, and these are uh, in celebration of Galaxy's Edge. So this is the Galaxy's Edge series. Now, when I purchased these, I had no idea they were the second series. Hang on a second, I gotta take another sip of coffee. And so in this series, there's three, okay? There's three, and uh, obviously there's Tatooine, right? That's the one I'm holding. There's one for Endor, it's got Ewoks all over it. And there's one for Batu, which is the land that exists in Galaxy's Edge. And of course, the moment uh, they arrived in the mail, they were already sold out. Uh, no idea when or where they'd ever come back in stock. Uh, that's what happens with these mugs. And now they're on eBay for like 60 to $80 a piece, which is crazy for a coffee mug, but if you collect coffee mugs, collect Star Wars stuff, then obviously you'll pay through the nose. The first series, because I didn't get on it and didn't know about it, the first series came and gone back with the Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary. Uh, it was a special limited edition of three mugs, again, all centered around Empire Strikes Back, which sucks because Empire Strikes Back is my favorite movie, right? Because it has the introduction of my favorite character, Boba Fett, Boba Fett, Boba Fett. Uh, there's three in that as well. There's Dagobah, there's Hoth, and there's the Bespin uh, Cloud City structure. And so they have all three of those. And those now, I believe, are $100 a piece out on eBay. You get a full set brand new for more than $300, which is ridiculous. But um, if anybody would like to buy me a set and mail it to me, I will be happy to receive it and credit you in a video. But I really... Highly doubt it. So of the three mugs that I have, I thought I'd spin them around and show them to you. Uh, the Tatooine one, of course, has Luke when he's holding his lightsaber for the first time. Has 3PO R2-D2 with a little hologram of Leia. You got Ben Kenobi up there, the Millennium Falcon blasting out of Mos Eisley, and of course the Dubax and Han and Greedo's famous chat. The Endor mug has Ewoks and has the satellite dish for the force field. It has an ATST. it's got speeder bikes, it's got the shield bunker. Uh, you got some uh, 
interaction between Leia and an Ewok. You got the rebel symbol and 3PO and R2 there. And it says, wonderful, we are now part of the tribe. I think obviously they did the Tatooine and the Endor as uh, a way to do A New Hope and Return of the Jedi, right? Because they'd already done Empire. So having all the sets would have all of the classic movies. The third cup is from Galaxy's Edge and it's the planet Batuu. And on it, you've got Rey, you've got Chewie, the Rebel symbol, the Millennium Falcon uh, characters from the Galaxy's Edge book and from uh, the land that's in Disneyland and Disney World. You got Kylo Ren, you got some First Order Troopers, you got ATST, and a Loath Cat. It also says Bright Suns right there. That is the greeting at Batu, uh, at Disneyland or Disney World. When you go there, uh, the cast members, you might hear them say Bright Suns to you. Uh, that is the greeting, and you would say, Bright Sun's back. I'm still not as familiar with Galaxy's Edge or Batu because I still have not been to the parks. Uh, when Galaxy's Edge first opened, I was hesitant to go because I didn't want to go with the crowds. I wanted to enjoy it as a Star Wars fan. I didn't want the crowds. I wanted to enjoy it, you know, all for me. And then COVID, <laughs> so I haven't been back. And uh, I am actually going now uh, in October going in October. So depending on when you're watching this, October 2021 is when I have visited. Hopefully I'll be able to chronicle some of my visit, but who hasn't already done that on the YouTube, right? It's, you've seen it. You, there's been spoilers out there, but I'm super excited because uh, Rise of the Resistance now has an actual standby line, which it didn't before. So there's actually hope that me and my family will get on Rise of the Resistance. I can't wait. Do you have the mugs? Do you have the Bin There mugs? Do you have the first series or the second series? Do you have the Empire series? Do you have an extra? <laughs> Do you have an extra set you'd like to sell me for really cheap because you love uh, Star Wars fans and not profit? I, you, you probably don't exist, but that's okay. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. May the Force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.